new ring as shown in photo so first of all we are just using front plane type in 0 enter 17.5 is the uh, uh, sorry it should be radius value so go back d enter and type in 17.5 enter so now my diameter is 17.5 double click now i'm going to use offset so offset uh, should be as per your uh, <coughs> thickness as thickness you want okay i'm just turning on control points so by default control points are coming and I just drag it upward so it will come like egg section egg shape okay now go back to okay you can also type in control plus m to maximize minimize viewport okay now i am going to use rectangle and uh, conic corner shape use quadrant okay turn on quadrant points first click and second quadrant then bring it little bit outer side and uh, set your edges go to perspective move it to the center this point to this point now i can use sweep to tool so here is the sweep to rail first second and this is the cross section okay this is the first ring now i can edit this ring using rebuild tools so rebuild so if we are going to use rebuild surface so the surface rebuild will come if we have selected uh, cows so rebuild cow option will come okay now you can adjust your uh, points and uh, sections so for right now i am using 25 okay i am going to use 40 and here is see you can see the preview the changes you can see here so type in value and uh, wait for a moment so it will show the result so if you want to reduce your cows and uh, type in 20 okay so this is fine make sure that your shape is not going uh, too much change okay i am going to use 10 okay this is fine just okay and uh, now again select the surface and bring it here okay type in select cow so this is the command select cow and i want to move original cows to the another layer and uh, hide them now i am going to use extract wireframe option so extract wireframe will create the cows and extract them so now you can directly type in pipe command and pipe radius uh, is going to 0 0.4 0 0.4 mm and this is my first ring this is the cage ring okay now i want little bit section like uh, little bit sharp not this is too much uh, this is too much rounded so now we are just going to use mesh command so creating mesh will going to change the shape let's make change uh, 5 to 8 and let's see the preview okay this is my final object which is showing inside shape okay you can also use different values as per your requirement so i have got this shape now i am going to use extract wireframe and move the object to this side okay now this is the extracted wireframe select the shape and type in pipe command 0.4 is the radius value okay this is my ring you can also add more wires if you need suppose <coughs> if i want wireframe from this ring so let's type in mesh check the preview so make sure your minimum edge length should be 5 means you have to make uh, change in the minimum edge length value so see the values i am just typing 4 now it comes again and even if you want to make changes 
you can also use control point turn on control points and uh, select top control points you can scale up and make changes as you want okay i have just uh, not selected properly going to undo and i missed the fourth line so keep pressing shift key and add to selection then i can use scale command then click outside select this sorry this outer periphery portions means outer control point curves and then we can scale them we can rise them up we can scale them up scale down inside and also you can bring them up okay so this is the little bit different shape organic shape okay now you can also use mesh tool and uh, you can type in here four and now check the preview if it is okay then click done and bring this original link site and now extract wireframe bring this ring to a site and now select them and type in pipe 0.4 so diameter value okay so this is my first ring and this is second ring okay so try to make your work easy and use little bit smart tools to get the shape fast and easy yeah thank you